all right what's going on everyone i'm coming at you back real quick with another reaction video and this time it's for the new dragon mancer skins and victorious blitzcrank so we have another set of chinese themed skins which is always great but uh these look pretty good i haven't seen them yet all i know is how much they cost who they are and that we're getting two Yasuo Legendaries. And honestly, I wouldn't have done this aside from the fact that we're getting the two Yasuo Legendaries. And that's really the only reason I'm doing this reaction, to see how good it is, see if I like it or not, and give my opinion on it. So, first, we have Victorious Blitzcrank, which is uh, shocking, to say the least, because, um, <laughs> you know, I don't think Blitzcrank was used very much this season. Aside from when Space Groove came out... I'm pretty surprised he's getting the Victorious skin. But, uh, yeah. So we have Dragon Mancer Karma, which isn't even here yet. We have Kaisa, Lagoon Dragon Kaisa. Dude, I swear to God. I've, I've spoken about this before, but I'm really getting, like, annoyed that Riot is just making all these, like, Asian appealing skins. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't want to be called a racist or anything, but, like, I don't know. It's just super annoying that, like, to me, it's so, like, kind of obvious, but... They're still great skins, I, I think. I haven't seen the effects or anything, so we'll see, but they look like great skins. It looks hot as hell, too, like the water theme and everything. Super cool. Uh, excuse me. Another Thresh skin. Very nice, very nice. He looks like a badass warlord dragon. Very cool. I mean, I love dragon theme shit, so... This reminds me of the Lee Sin skin, so hopefully they're in the same line. This Volibear skin looks sick. The... The Prestige version actually looks ridiculous. Like, this thing is fucking hot and sexy. So, Dream Dragon Yasuo is the first part of the Legendary. And similar to Lux, he has an alternate version called Truth Dragon. And if it's the same thing as the Lux skins, honestly, I'm alright with it. I mean, I think the Lux skins are actually fairly... I mean, you know, they're obviously similar. They're the same skin, but different effects and different enough to warrant it, I think. I think this is fine. And if I didn't have so many orbs and stuff, I probably would have wasted my openings on this to try and get one of these two. But unfortunately, I have too many orbs and I want more shit to come out and I don't play Yasuo that much. But this is hot and this is fucking ridiculously hot. If I had to choose one I liked, I mean, obviously I had to I have to see the effects, which we'll go through. But Dream Dragon Yasuo, like, dude, look at the size of his fucking bicep. Ridiculous. And the whole color scheme and everything. Like, this looks like a mix of Ori and Sekiro. It's super hot. This just looks like normal. Like, whatever. By the way, let's see the preview. Let's see how this shit looks. Let me make sure you guys can see it, though. Do you, do you guys see it? Yeah, you guys see it. Cool. Alright, let's see it. It's actually in terrible quality. Hold on. Oh, well, it doesn't get much better than this. God damn it. Alright. Pretty nice effects. Pretty nice sounds. Kaisa skin's very nice. I'm sad it's not a legendary. If it was a Kaisa legendary, I might have done it. But... Look at this nonsense. What the hell? Alright, the Karma skin looking alright. Not bad. Okay. Karma skin looks pretty reddish. We have a lot of red Karma skins. There's some blue mixed in though. Alright. Thresh. Dark green color. Okay. Kind of looks like snot, but dragon themed okay okay all right not bad the chroma screen is gonna, gonna go sick though the colors are really nice it's like green and black and white super good actually thrush skin is really cool this bully bear skin looks okay it honestly looks like a reused okay that looks hot the ulti is hot the Volley Bear skin looks like a reused like version of when they were reworking him they're like oh, okay we have two options we could go down we could do what with what came out, option one, or option two, which is this. And it kind of feels like they didn't scrap option two, they just redid it into a skin. Because this looks very similar to base Volley Bear. Like, I could have seen base Volley Bear being this. You know, aside from all the dragon paraphernalia. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I'm a little, whatever. That looks pretty hot. I mean, the gold effects are always nice, but. Very hot. Oh yeah, okay, the ulti makes up for it. This looks like a legendary skin, honestly. Like, with that ulti. That is insane.
Okay. All right. What was that little E he did? That E animation was clean. Eh. Okay, so he glows when he ults. That's cool. Is that as long as he has the ult passive up, or does it go away? His sword is long as hell. Oh my god. All right, let's see Dream Dragon. That's hot. Okay. I don't know if the EQ combo is the same as in the other skin. Yeah, I definitely like this one better than the other one, but let me let me look at it again. Yeah, this one's more yellow, like orange themed, which is fine. It looks like a Super Saiyan. The sword's like lightning. The blue one though? Very cool. They're okay. They're pretty good, I guess. I mean, I would like to see them in better quality, but not bad. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, they're all right. They didn't wow me as much as I would hope for. Bully Bear's definitely the best skin, though. Let's see if we have uh, more context. Yeah, here we go. Better images. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. Karma skin looking hella nice. Very nice, very nice. Thresh. Thresh is pretty good, too. It's honestly the colors of Thresh that are doing it for me. The base of the Volley Bear skin, like, again, this looks like it could have been, like, base Volley. It's just another concept they just didn't go with for base Volley. This, though, is insane. This is fucking ridiculously hot. Alright, so let's see this shit. Let's see the pre-release real quick. Let's see how this goes. What could be, will be, oh. soon. Bruh. His hair is going crazy. Asagi! Let's see the Q. Because the Yon legendary, when he Qs, he does like, he literally like levitates the blade, twirls it, and then puts it back in his hand. That is ridiculously hot. This one? I mean, it's okay. It's more just jumping. Like, even when he Ws, I think he just jumps, right? Yeah, he jumps a little bit. Very hot wind wall, though, but let's see the E. I mean, yeah, the effects are alright. Let's see the R. Or EQ. Let's see the shit. It's okay. Eh. I think Nightbringer's result is better. But this definitely isn't bad. It's definitely... The sword being long is really hot. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, Truth Dragon Yasuo is like whatever. Which one is the base of it? Are they both variants? Yeah, they're both variants, so there's no base per se. Uh, and then the voiceover. How long is the voiceover? 13 minutes. Let's read what it says. Uh, new models and textures, new VFX, new SFX, new animation recall, new VO. Uh, okay, I mean. And then we're getting Eternals for these guys too, I guess. Uh, they're alright. Yeah, overall, I mean, they're okay. Uh, the Yasuo skin could have been better, I think, but it doesn't seem terrible. There's a lot of glowing and a lot of jumping, but... Yeah, I expect more. Like, with Nightbringer's ult, the thing I like about Nightbringer's ult is... You just do one slash, but there's, like, things winding up into the slash. It's so fucking cool. This one, it's alright. I mean, you get the dragon. If you're a fan of dragons, you're probably nutting over the skin line, but overall... It's okay. I wish uh, I was expecting a little bit more though, but it's alright. It's cool.